Hey guys, it's Fiona from Eventide Reads and today I'm here to review The Rosie Project by Graham, Sim Graham Simpson. Every time I've said his name I've fallen over it. This was a book recommended to me by a work colleague and I think she hit the mark perfectly with this read. This is definitely so far one of my favourite books of the year and there's been quite a few and I don't even know where this ranks but it's pretty high up there. So this is a humorous yet sometimes a serious fiction um, about a man called Don who isn't quite like everybody else. He thinks in facts, he thinks in figures, he is very to the point and doesn't do well with social situations, he's not sure how to conduct himself. So Don clearly is somewhere on the spectrum but it's never really mentioned until much later on, it's just accepted that is how Don is. And I think that's brilliant to start off the book, this is how he is, this is what he does, and this is how his brain works. And that's totally okay. That's just who he is. And I think that's a great thing to start the book with, that it's just starts as it means to carry on. So Don is a fantastically interesting character. He is so vastly different, but at the same time I saw so, so many similarities about parts of myself, parts of my husband, and all the other people that I know mixed in together and Don's brain is just something else. It is hilarious and ridiculous and I don't normally deal very well with like awkward situations in books and films but even in this they were just so funny and so absolutely realistic that I couldn't help but laugh and enjoy them. So the story goes we have Don, he gets inspired to create the wife project which is a questionnaire to find the perfect wife for him and it's a very detailed questionnaire and this then leads him to accidentally agreeing to go for a meal with a girl called Rosie who is set up by his friend and Rosie is everything Don wouldn't want from the wife project applicant. She smokes, she works in a bar, like she's everything that he doesn't look for in a person, everything he thought he didn't want. So this book is about their relationship and how it has its ups and downs and how actually they work really well together and it's a fantastic love story. It's not overly soppy, it's just the right blend of happy, funny, romantic with that underlying tone of this is a serious commitment, this isn't just a young adult, young romance, this is something that could potentially be a life partner and it was so refreshing to read this after reading so much YA. I love YA, don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore it and most of what I will carry on reading is YA. But to have this break and it to be such the perfect book was just so glorious, so absolutely glorious. I honestly loved all the characters and I thought they were so well fleshed out and believable and different personalities and ones that you love to hate. For example, Jean, Don's best friend, is a character where you're like, God, he's a bit of a dick. But I kind of love him at the same time for pushing Don out there and being like, just go with it. Go with it. And Don's like, mm, no. <laughs> So Gene does some action behind the scenes and he's not an honest guy but you kind of can't help but love him and you know it all comes full circle in the end and it's all brilliant and it's so well wrapped up and there is a sequel but to be honest I'm probably not going to read it. I, like I love the Rosie project as it is and maybe one day I'll go back and have some more Don and Rosie in my life but I think if I read the sequel right now I'd probably have Overkill and I might not like the sequel as much and I feel like this was such a refreshing tale I don't want too much of it right now if that makes any sense this is just an absolutely wonderful wonderful story told in the most compelling way and it is just fantastic summer reading it has a lot of information in there because it talks about psychology a lot and um, genetics and things like that because that's what Don does but it doesn't make it over complicated. I didn't have to look anything up particularly and it was just a really easy read and I just flew through it in like less than three days. And that for me is really, really good. So this book is a five star books, one of my favorite of the year by far. And 
I think it's amazing. I highly, highly recommend this book. What I would like to ask is if there were any books that people would recommend that I have liked this book. Is there something else similar but not too similar that I might also enjoy? Jojo Moyes seems to be popping up a lot in that kind of suggested area, but I don't know, I'm just not convinced yet, so I might stick with asking our bookseller Claire for recommendations for fiction because she knows her shit. This is why you need to be friends with your local bookselling peeps, especially if they're interested in what you're also interested in because they'll be a great, great asset to you. I'm just saying. Have any of you read The Rosie Project as well? What were your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And I just smacked my light stand. Ow. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.